Creepy crawlers. I love they crawl these here. Hi there. Welcome to the gardening corner here in Northern California. Well, I'm here in the yard. I'm gonna get rid of these, these great pests. I call them weeds, but I have a name for these. And I wanted to see if you know the name. Now they're in California and they really, really are a pain in the neck. I hate them. be really a pain in the neck. I hate it. Don't you hate it? Weeds that grow on top of your great, great... No, just kidding. There's nothing great about this. I'm just out here. I wanted to tell you something. Well, what I want to tell you is that out in the forest, it's hard to grow food. It's hard because of the microclimates. So with microclimates, you wind up, excuse me, you wind up, I'm trying to get a balance here. You wind up in a place where you don't have enough sun. Let me sit down here, give me a minute. You don't have enough sun, so you chase the sun. Well, not chase the sun, I'm sorry. You pretty much try to find the sun. So the challenge here is to try to grow food in the forest, in the microclimates which is hard to do. Now, my experience has been A-OK. -okay. I've grown some strawberries here, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, squash. I tried watermelon. We didn't get enough sun. The quality was good. It was small, but it wasn't that sweet because of the lack of sun. I gave it great nutrients. We feed them well. We use compost here out in the forest. I have my own compost bin here. You've seen in the last videos. I have fruit trees. I don't have them in the ground because we're not gonna be here that long. Well, we've been here a long time actually, just that we're changing things around. As times get harder and things get more expensive, you're gonna have to grow your own food because things can get worse. I'll give you an example. If you don't grow your own food, they'll grow it for you. And conditions, the conditions that we have now with the weather here, the climate, we're losing ground. We're not taking care of our earth or the soil that we, that we eat on, that we use so we can grow. So we find ourselves in trouble, just taking what they give us. Because in reality, you can't grow it yourself because you don't have the time. So what do we do? Well, the alternative is for you to grow your own food. You don't have to grow a lot. For two people, you probably can have four beds and that'll be enough of vegetables that you need. If you don't eat that much stuff. So it's gonna be a challenge here. So my challenge is this. I have to grow food this summer. So I have strawberries, I have tomatoes, I think I have squash, I have apple trees, cherry tree, apple tree, I have some new trees. And I have peach trees, I got two. So that's what I have. So I want you to follow me and see how I do this season here in Forestville and see what happens here in my neck of the woods with the environment I have, with the microclimate, with the sun moving around a lot, and see what happens. Any questions, you can go ahead and put those uh, this in the comments. Thumbs up, like this video. And if you wanna follow me, just ring that bell. I think it's on the left side of me. And I will put more videos.
Now, they're not exciting videos. It's about surviving, it's gonna be about growing, and about moving too, how to find land. It's a good timing for you guys to follow me because I am looking for small land, not big land, because California is real expensive for land. I mean, really expensive. So, you gotta find a deal. So this is the deal. You follow me, you'll see how I do the deal. Not for every, every step, it'll get boring, but the good parts of it. That is it. So right now, that's the challenge, to grow food in Forestville and also to find somewhere else to grow where I get more sun and I get a better quality fruit and I'll be able to start the micro green, the micro greens business. And ducks, I wanna get some ducks. Then leghorn chickens also. I need livestock that can produce a lot. If I don't get a lot of production, I'm pretty much not gonna be worth it. All right, that's the challenge. Thanks for watching, or if you do subscribe, thank you for subscribing. And we'll be right back in a week or two, I don't know. I gotta get myself together here with this video challenge. Hang on, listen everybody, I have a video challenge also. The challenge is how long and how, how good can you get good at video? Well, that's my challenge too, to get better at doing production, showing you stuff, sharing what I do. Here at the Gardening Corner in Northern Cap.